Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can patch DWM and we will also insert a while loop into the xinitrc file so that when we hit mod shift Q, DWM restart automatically. Let's get going. So let's get started. We start here from where we left off. And what we're gonna do first is to create a while loop in our xinitrc file so that when we hit mod shift Q, we restart DWM immediately. So let's open up the terminal, increase the font size, and I'll type in here vim.xinitrc and hit enter. I'll insert this after the nitrogen command and a new comment, and I'll call it loop. And the loop is gonna be while true, semicolon, do, and the command is DWM, major than slash dev slash null, and then two major than and one. The next line is done to end the function, and then we can save the file. So here we are saying basically every time that we quit DWM, restart it immediately. And then we can quit Vim, and we need to exit once DWM. So I hit mod shift Q, and for the last time, I'm going to type in start X and hit enter. And now if I hit again mod shift Q, it's restarting without exiting. So let's open up our browser. So I'll hit mod P and type in Chromium. This is my browser. And I'll go to the DWM patches. And I'll click the first link. Now we need to select which patch we want to apply. Now I normally don't apply so many patches to DWM. Normally I just apply one in my case because that's for me enough. But your case might vary and of course you're free to apply as many patches as you want to. However, you'll have to be careful because the more patches you apply, the more probably manual patching you will have to do. As every patch in DWM assumes that you have a standard configuration file, every time you had a new patch, you might remove or insert new lines of code. And when you apply a new patch, if there are extra lines which are not expected, the patch is gonna fail and you'll have to patch manually. Anyway, the patch I use most of the time as probably the only one which I install is the full gaps, which is down here. So I'll just click this. And we have two versions, the full gap 6.2 and the other version down here. So I know because I tried this already, the first patch here applies cleanly. I don't have to do manually anything. So I'm going to install this first and then I'm going to remove it and apply the second one to show you what does it mean to manually actually patch. So I'm just going to click this patch here and it's going to show me what's going to change. So it's going to make changes to the config dev file and also to the DWMC file, so to the code of DWM. So I'm going to right click on this file and click save as, and I'm going to save this file into the DWM directory and click save. I open a new terminal and I'll move it here to the second tag and I'll increase the font size again and I'll change to the DWM directory and type in ls and we have here our full gaps patch. So to apply this, we can type in patch, then minor than symbol and then the patch name. So DWM dash and then tab to autocomplete. Well, in this case, I only have one patch, so autocomplete works immediately, and then hit enter. As you can see, the patch worked cleanly, so we had changes to the dev file and to the DWMC file. So we need to copy the dev file into the configuration file by typing in sudo cp config dev h, and then config h, and hit enter, enter our sudo password, and then rebuild by typing in sudo make clean install, and hit enter. There you go. Now we need to restart DWM. And now we have gaps in our window. So I open up a new terminal here. You can see we have gaps. And let me close those up. And there you go. Now I'll move again the terminal to tag number two. And I'll type in vim config.def.h and hit enter. Just to show you that we have some new key bindings here for our gaps, which are up here. So we have mod key and minus to decrease the outer gaps. We have mod key and equal to increase the gaps and mod shift equal to reset the gaps. So I can exit this file. And now what if we want to remove this patch? Well, to do this, we can type in patch dash R and then again, minor than symbol and then the patch name and then hit enter. Again, the patch was removed cleanly. So we need to again reconfigure the files by typing in sudo cp and then config fh and then config h and hit enter and remake the install for this i'm going to pull up this command and hit enter restart dwm and the gaps as you can see are gone now i need to close once the terminal for those changes to take effect on the terminal so let me do this and there you go now i'll move the terminal to tag number two and go back there and increase the font size 
there you go i go back to the chromium and i'll go back one page and see what happens if i apply the second patch so this is just a test and this is just to show you how actually you would manually patch when the patch is not cleanly applied if you are applying the full gaps patch don't apply this one of course apply the first one which works cleanly but if you apply other patches you might encounter the same situation as with the second patch so let me first go back to the terminal and remove the patch and i go back to the dwn directory and type in ls i want to remove the patch first so i'll type in rm dwm dash and then autocomplete there you go so i'll go back to chromium right click here and click save as and i'm going to save it again in the same directory and click save I go back to my terminal and type in ls and i have the new patch there so to apply it we can type in patch minus the symbol and then dwm dash tap to autocomplete and it enter and this is going to fail one part of that file was not patched successfully and what wasn't patched successfully is now saved in this new document here so if we type in ls you see we have here the dwmcrej file that we need to open up so let's type in vim dwm.c.rej and hit enter and you see what happens here so the patch was not able to delete this line and apply these two lines and the same goes for these two other blocks Again, keep in mind, this is just to show you how to actually patch manually other patches, the full gaps as a fully functional patch on the Suckless website, as you've seen before. So you can see on the top here, the file we need to patch is DWMC. So let's open that up in a new tab here in Vim. And let's open up the file. The file is DWM.C. And so we need to basically copy these two lines. So let me copy them up very quickly. And I'll hit Y to copy and i'll go back to the other file and here i'm going to search for mw equal any tenter and these are the lines i need to change so let me select them very quick and hit p to paste and those are fine so let's go back to the other file and copy the second block and click y to copy go back to the other file and replace the lines and i'll hit p to paste and I'll do the same for the last block. I'll decrease a little bit the font size so that I see everything in here. There you go. And so I can copy these lines and go back to the other file and replace them. I hit P and there you go. Now we need to remove those pluses here. So let me do this real quick. And there you go. And we can save the file now and exit Vim. And we can get out of this file as well. Now we need to recopy again the config file. So we'll type in sudo cp config def h and then config h and hit enter. Enter again the sudo password. And we can make again sudo make clean install and hit enter. And now we can restart DWM. And again, I have my patches there up and working. So this is how you can manually apply the patch if the patch fails. Let me close this up. And let's go back here to Chromium. And let's install another patch. We can install, for example, the alpha patch here. And I'm going to install this time the second one because I know this should be working. So I'll just click this and right click. And you can see this one is going to make changes to more files. So it's a bit more complicated patch. So we can right click here, click Save As. I'm going to save this right here and click Save. And let me go back here to the tag number two and type in ls. And we have there our alpha patch, which is fine. So we can type in patch minor than symbol and then dwm dash alpha and autocomplete and hit enter and the patch was applied successfully so what we can do again we can recopy the config files so let me do this like this and make the clean install again and restart dwm and now let me close actually the browser and also the terminal and i can see actually the transparency is not working and that's because i have a file i need to edit because i am on a vm here so let me open up the terminal i'll increase the font size and i'll type in sudo vim slash etsy slash xdg slash pycom.conf and hit enter enter the sudo password and i need to search for the vsync option because it's not supported in the vm so i need to just comment this line out and save the file and exit vim and i need once to reboot the machine so let me do this very quickly i'll type in reboot it's gonna take a moment to do this enter the username and the password i need to type in star x and hit enter and you can see now actually transparency is working so from this wallpaper it's not very visible but i can see clouds behind the bars so the bar is transparent 
So this is how we can create a while loop in the xinitrc file and patch DWM. Again, these were very simple patch. I definitely recommend you not to patch DWM too much. Otherwise it can get very complicated also to patch manually. And with a few patches, DWM remains actually much lighter. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install DWM and manage patches via Git. So if you prefer that way, you can go ahead and watch that tutorial. So this is one way how you can patch DWM. As you can see, patches are not going to be always smooth, but they are not that difficult to apply. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install DWM via Git and how you can manage your patches also via Git. I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.